traders at Axis Bank say they expect a much more bearish market today due to funding obligations by investors. The market has been relatively calm so far. I have Demetri Obasai, fixed income dealer at Axis Bank. He joins me to gauge investor sentiment this week. Thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Let's really start of now doing some uh, comparative analysis of what's playing out within the bonds market and then the treasury bills market. We see some slight uh, bullish undertone within the uh, bond market. However, it's relatively calm within the treasury bills market. Talk us through the numbers that played out yesterday and the sentiments ruling today. All right, good afternoon. <clears throat> Thank you very much for having me. Um, as you've noted, uh, we've seen bullish sentiment all through the week, particularly in the bonds market. Uh, however, this has sort of tapered off today given the uh, funding obligations that banks have for the retail auction, the CBN's retail auction that is scheduled to hold today. Uh, what we've seen all through the week, given the uh, increased liquidity that has come into the system, uh, we've seen market participants deploy that liquidity into uh, the instruments, particularly on the long end of the bonds curve. Uh, we've seen the long end reduce over a month-on-month -month basis by uh, about, about almost 50 basis points, mm. right? And um, we've seen that continue even into this week. Uh, we've seen also uh, significant demand on the shorter end of the bond curve, uh, you know, with the 2025s all the way to the uh, 27s being uh, sought after. And investors are heavily investing in the securities and trading them, trading the yields downwards. Uh, on the FX side, uh, what we've seen is a continued uh, supply by the CBN uh, with the by 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 weekly exactly. retail auctions. Yes, with the by weekly re retail auctions as well as the SME and Invisibles that they uh, also intervene in the market on a weekly basis. Mm. And talking about the NAFEX and importers and exporters window as well, how do you see the Naira also trading as we also make some new forecasts for the coming week? Well, we've had um, slight appreciation in the INE with the Naira appreciating by about 17 cobble to close at um, the low for 63 levels. Uh, with regards to the forecast for the week, we expect it to trade around these 460, uh, 436 levels rather, and we expect that to be sort of the anchor point going into next week. Mm. So talking about the expectations for next week as well, do you think this quiet sentiment is also going to filter into the, uh, the coming weeks as we are wrapping up the month of September? So we have a bond auction to be organized by the DMO on Monday. Yes. Um, shortly after that, we are going to see a lot of activity. Um, it's worthy to note that the DMO recently changed the bonds that you know, would be offered at the auction substituting the 2042 paper with the 2037 um, that has caused some you know market participants to uh, you know forecast that we would then see a lot more rally on the long end of the curve given that those bonds are no longer on the run uh, so that would be interesting to watch we expect that the 2037 now being the longest paper on issue i uh, will sort of take that place of the of the 2042s we expect it to close somewhere around the high 13 percent levels and that will be interesting to watch and then we'll see how the market reacts to that going forward. And talking about market reactions, let's also discuss uh, quickly now the OPR and then overnight rates as well. Really, how do you also see that playing out? So like I said, we have um, significant liquidity coming into the system. Uh, we also would still have more coupon payments coming into the system um, for the late, for, you know, for the remaining weeks in the month of September, total of about 300 billion. Yeah. Uh, given all that inflows into the system, we expect that overnight rates and OPR rates would uh, reduce. Currently at around seven levels, but we see it um, reducing up by about 100 basis points further. So about six levels, 6% levels to close the month. Mm. 